Hi, I'm Chip from Single Track Magazine, and this is Amanda. Hi. And we are going to show you how easy and simple it is to uh, go tubeless. Amanda's not a, a convert yet. Not yet. And uh, so it's my mission to, to uh, um, dispel your fears. Okay. So you can run lower pressures. So once it's all set up, it's pretty faff free. Uh, the tubeless sealant that goes in the tire helps seal any punctures uh, from thorns and things. And generally, it's, it's a much simpler life. So to do that, we're going to start with a wheel. Um, ours is already taped for tubeless. Uh, the idea with tubeless is you don't have a tube, obviously, and uh, you just have the tyre, a airtight base of the rim, and tubeless sealant, and that's all there is to it. What you might use is some tubeless tape if your uh, if your wheel doesn't isn't already set up ready for tubeless. Uh, this DT Swiss one comes already taped, so all we need is a tubeless valve and a tyre. So I'll put the tyre on first. Most tyres, mountain bike tyres these days are tubeless ready or tubeless compatible or some, you know. What's the difference between what makes it tubeless ready? Um, what makes it tubeless ready um, is generally on the inside there'll be an, just a thin layer of beautiful rubber just to make it airtight. Okay. If it's not, uh, if it doesn't have that you can sometimes rely on the, the, uh, the sealant to seal any little holes um, but I think pretty much most tyres these days are, are ready because uh, so many people, apart from you, haven't gone... Everyone but me. Uh, ...haven't gone tubeless. Why have you not gone tubeless yet? Uh, well, I haven't, I haven't been shown how. Okay. And I haven't had a puncture to... Touch, touch wood. Uh, well, I've said that now. But okay. yeah, it's, it's not come up yet. Okay. If I'd have got a puncture and didn't have a tube, then I probably would All have right. done. But I still need to know how. So what we're going to do is add this tubeless valve. Um, there's the sort of different shapes, but generally there are squidgy rubber to seal against the tape, and then generally a, a little O-ring just to seal from the outside, and a little lock ring. So that just needs to be snugged up pretty tight. Okay, so uh, I'm going to then I'll seat to one side of the time, I'll seat three quarters of the other and leave a gap to put our tuber sealant in. Uh, we're using finished line sealant. Uh, this says that a 29er, which this is, four to five ounces, so that's about half the, the bottle. Like pancake mix, a little more. So, this has lots of little bits of rubber and, and uh, things that stick together to seal little holes in the, in the sidewall of the tyres. Uh, the principle is a bit like uh, carrot peelings in a sink. So if, you, if you're peeling <laughs> carrots in your sink and you take the plug out, all the carrot peelings go to the plug hole and they seal the water in. Right. So that's what the tubular sealant's doing. It's, it's all rushing to where there's a hole and, and blocking the hole. Right. In theory, this should go straight up. Uh, it does help to have a charger type pump if you can, or a compressor. Uh, the finish line stuff you can use with CO2 as well. Some sealants you can't because it sort of freezes the sealant. Uh, but the idea is to get a blaster of, of air in there, which sometimes you can do with a really good track pump. And other times you need to use uh, a charger pump. We've got our charger pump connected. There's about 140 PSI in there and it's all gonna rush in. And hopefully seal the tire in one go. You should hear four pops as the bead pops into place. Yep. Um, and you can check that visually once it goes up. But here we go.
there we go all sealed so just give that a twirl around make sure all the sealants evenly spread out pump it up to your desired pressure which will be lower than you were running with the tube and go ride right now it's your turn Okay, we've uh, tyres equally seated all the way around the rim. Uh, we've got no leaks of fluid or air. It's, uh, was that as bad as you thought? No, that was easy. There you go, no excuses. Didn't think I'd get it first time. Right, so if you're not tubeless already, what are you waiting for?